on tour with ACDC um, I think it was 2009 and um, we kind of we'd been on tour for about 12 months I think or maybe even longer and it was pretty relentless and we were doing um, the like stadium shows with ACDC in Europe um, and then uh, they would do a gig and a day off and a gig so we started we were filling in the days off with our own headline shows and playing for about an hour 45 and then obviously back with ACDC the next day and this was going on for weeks and months and then um, we were supposed to get some time to go home and um, somebody thought manager a record company somebody thought it's a good idea rather than going home and getting a break like everybody else we'll, we'll go to Japan so we went to Japan did shows there and that's where I first um, really noticed that there was something wrong and even after sound check I had to like um, go with the translator to the hospital and get an x-ray and um, they didn't find anything but I knew then that it was it, it definitely wasn't it wasn't right and then we came back and we did the O2 two shows in the O2 in London with ACDC and one in the O2 in Dublin and that was the first time that I actually got because we were in Dublin we got to go home the next day so um that was the first chance I actually had a day off so whenever I got home I went to the hospital the next day got got my hand x-rayed and, and it was broke um so it was just sort of straight on the phone that I mean we were supposed to be playing that night um so it was just straight on the phone to the manager and we had to cancel some shows and then uh, I got a friend of mine from back home a great drummer called called Carl Patentis um who I've known for years and Carl was kind of was a bit older than me so he was kind of the drummer we all looked up to in, in our time um, so I knew he would he would be more than capable for the job so we got Carl involved and he did I think he did about six or seven shows for me um, but one of the shows I missed out on was n like 93,000 people Hockenheim in Germany and that night I remember just sitting at home but my head in my hands I couldn't believe I was missing this you know um so that was really uh, an incentive for me not to I just I didn't do anything I just let my hand rest and they, and they say is when I, when I found out it was it was broke it says it would be six weeks um minimum and then I made a minimum dawn so I was like six weeks what's gonna be happening in six weeks what stadiums are we gonna be playing so I just made sure that I didn't do anything and, and I rested my hand as much as possible and luckily after six weeks it was healed and, and I was back um, I, th I had to do a, a little bit of physio just um, I mean one of the main things the guy just he got me to get a stress a stress ball and it was just I'm carrying this about with me every day and stretching my hand as much as possible just to strengthen it up again because obviously if you haven't used it for six weeks it's kind of like even eating your dinner is a bit weird you know so <laughs> Um, but I don't think there wasn't too much. Luckily, the hand healed, um, and I, it, it, it was strong straight away, and I was able to just to get, get straight back on tour again.